Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. Today we have Lando Carizian Skiff Guard Disguise. Yeah, this is the 6 inch Black Series figure. Oh, I love this figure. There's some brilliant detail on this figure. And of course, I don't know who it is until we take the helmet off. <laughs> brilliant disguise. Just like uh, Superman in his glasses. You can't tell it at all until you take the helmet off. <laughs> There's some great detail on this helmet. Love the bones and the teeth and horns, whatever they are. It's awesome. If I take it off, <gasps> oh, it is Lando. There we go. But yeah, look, it's a soft helmet's quite soft. I think it's a little bit undersized. I think I think it's a tiny bit. If you look at the back, you can see like his hair and his neck. I think it should come at least three or four mil lower. So you can sort of hide the hair, and this should, you know, this should really push up. But yeah, it's brilliant. It's good. Some good detail. I look at the face sculpt now. This is a great face sculpt, Lando. I think it's brilliant. You just know it's Billy D. Williams, don't you? It's awesome. It's one of my favorite. I think this is one of my favorite uh, costumes he wears. It's a great costume. And it's a great bit at the beginning of Return of the Jedi. The armor is brilliant there, it looks nice, it does look like metal, it's a bit of weathering all over it. You've got the shoulder bells, you've got a forearm, all of it's kind of bright. The problem is a lot of it's just brown and beige, isn't it, which so is a bit boring. So a lot of the, a lot of Return of the Jedi characters are just brown and a lot of belts and stuff at the beginning. Some good, lovely boots, I love the grip there. Nice bit of grip on the boots. Yeah, some lovely detail. Just have a look at the weapon. See if we can stand him now. It won't take too long. There we go. So yes, sort of a off. It's yeah, it's a grey black plastic. It's not black black. I say. The, there's a little bit of dry brushing on the top there, but not a lot. There's some great detail to the weapon. Holds it quite well, it's got a good grip there. His hands are good. So, and they're quite easy to pry apart and get it in. So, uh, yeah, it's a shame it didn't come with a, come with a um, palace, you know, palace blaster as well, the skiff blaster. That might be in just an extra touch, just so you could have that as well. Which is a shame, really. But yeah, it's lovely detail. You've got a good, so you should look at some of the articulation. That goes up really nice. Look at that, crikey. So that's good. And you've got a good momentum. The only thing I don't like is these bits here when you lift the arms up. Look, they're sort of they are connected at the bottom. Why don't they just leave them loose so they could flap about and move down with the arm? Which is a bit of a bad to choice there, I think. So, but otherwise, it's a lovely looking figure. I'll stick his head helmet back on. There we go. Brilliant. Because I've got the <coughs> got the original here. Return the Jedi carded version. Kenner. You can see the picture there compared. Definitely. Uh, Definitely this bit here could do with being a lot, this piece could be a lot bigger, so block a lot of the view, so we can't really see him. But yeah, it's awesome. Love it. <laughs> cool figure. From a cool film at the beginning, yeah. Thank you very much. Well, there you go, it's a quick, very quick review of this figure. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any of the other episodes. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Bye.